Let go. <laughs> Good morning from Quilt and Code. It's Allison, and I have my mom with me. Um, this is Alice, and she's going to help us with our project this morning with the hand embroidery part. I'm still a little bit new at that, and so um, as you can see, we're a little bare behind us. We're still coming back from the Mid Atlantic show, which was awesome. We met so many people. It was it was fantastic. I'm so glad we did it, but. All our stuff is still coming in from the car because we didn't get in until 2 a.m. last night and or this morning. It was this morning. <laughs> and so we haven't put up our quilt behind us yet. And and I, anyway, here we are. Um, we are enjoying my dad is we don't even have the coffee yet. My dad is making the coffee. I do have some left over from this morning in my I am using my leaving Iowa, Iowa mug this morning. I before when I had time. And I was younger, um, I would act. And this was one of the plays that I actually, this was my very first starring role. I call it a starring role because there were only six people in the play, which means I had to hold my weight. So I had a starring role in leaving Iowa. And then it just, it, it jumped from there. I got several wonderful parts after that too. So if you wonder where the, um, the, yeah, energy and activity comes in this family, it's because of us. I'm like, it's just a natural thing. Um, so this morning, we are going to be working on our um, project, our notebook cover. Okay, so we're in the hanky challenge. And uh, Joyce Watts gave me a whole bunch of hankies, said, um, do something with these so that they will be usable again. And so I've been creating a whole bunch of different little projects. Well, okay, this is the second one. So we're, you're, you're new in the game. Okay, you haven't gone very far. And um, and while I was picking out the fabric a couple weeks ago for this project, um, I started to really focus on this piece right here, okay? And so when I had started the project, I had all these colors lined up. And if you were with me, you realized that in that moment, I said, whoa, that's the focus. This is where I want to go. I love these greens and yellows. And all of a sudden I started picking out greens and yellows for the hankies that I wanted to use for this project. And so before I cut any hankies, I treated them with a Trico interfacing on the back. And so that Trico interfacing looks like, hold on just a second. I had it's a right there. Oh ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's on there. Here it is. So... Um, this Trico interfacing has this nice, light, flowy quality to it. <clears throat> it has a, a glue side and a nice soft side. And so it gives the hanky, it gives it still that nice, loose feel to it. And so it's just stabilizing. That's all I want. And if you'll notice, I don't stabilize where the tatting is. This is tatting, I've learned. Um, <laughs> yeah, this, this part is the tatting. Right. Oh, that's tatting. What's uh -huh. this stuff? Where's the holes then? I don't know. Okay, so these gorgeous holes is what I thought was the tatting, but this is actually the tatting. This right here is tatting. And so I told mom she's going to teach us all that stuff. So. No, we're going to learn together because I don't do it. <laughs> so we're going to learn together eventually, eventually, not today. So that you've caught up. Okay, so we we treated the back with the um, Trico before I cut. Okay, And we also use this on t-shirt quilts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a wonderful tree uh, t-shirt quilt interfacing as well. Okay. Uh, because it, it keeps your, it, it's, and, and if you're doing a t-shirt quilt, make sure that that t-shirt quilt um, is stabilized before you start cutting fabric. So, um, all right, cool. So that kind of catches you up to where we're at. Okay. But before that, I just have to tell you something about the show. So while we were at the show, I kept going, you know, I just, in order to get out of that booth a little bit, I had to go to the bathroom. And every time I went to the bathroom, I went around a different way. Okay, so sometimes it was this way, sometimes it was straight through, sometimes. And there was one that I unfortunately had to pass every single time. And that was the massage pillow booth. And, and they kept trying to get me to sit down on that chair. And I thought, if I sit down, I won't get back up. Um, because we were standing all day long. And But my feet were killing me. I have a tendonitis on my left foot. And my foot was just killing me. Well, I finally sat down on Sunday and let her put that massage pillow underneath my foot. Oh my gosh. I, I had instant relief and it's been better ever since. I'm sitting there going, okay, well, you know what? I went ahead and bought that pillow. 
Um, and she's going <laughs> to let me carry those pillows. <laughs> so I'm like, you just don't understand. If I have anybody in my shop sit down on that pillow, they're going to want to steal my pillow. <laughs> so she's going to let me carry those pillows. Anyway, um, that got me through the show that Sunday. Oh, coffee has come. <laughs> and so you can stick it right there. Awesome. Perfect right there. I'm good. And then, yes. and then mom right here. Awesome. You see how we get along here in the set. So while we were gone. You didn't make a very big pot of it, did you? <laughs> you said two cups. That's what I mean. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> you can see we're just back. I know. We're, we're just back from a show. And man, I was like, yes, we are going live. So it's going to happen. Um, anyway, so... Uh, if you want one of those or you want to try one of those massage pillars, you can come on in here to the Colton Code. But well, after we get it. It won't be here <laughs> till Wednesday or Thursday, so you'll have to wait, and then you'll have to fight me for it. So, um, all right, cool. I'm going to move all this stuff over to the side. I wanted to start with a little bit of explaining some reverse applique. And then as I work on my reverse applique, I'm going to turn you over to my mom, Alice, who's going to explain a couple of um, simple embroidery stitches that will just enhance the project a little bit because, um, oh, I haven't shown you where we're at. Okay, so here's where we're at. So and I this need is that, what so. we did, yep, this is what we did last week. And so last week we took all those pieces and we start, right? Mom just goes, <laughs> <laughs> I had my, my first sip of coffee. Oh. Right. oh my gosh, okay. So yeah, I need that one. All right, it's, so, it's, it's good. It the is. coffee's really good. Yeah, he made it nice and strong. <laughs> yeah, we need that. 2 a.m. Um, so Daddy, well, I was awake when Willard got home. So <sighs> anyway, yeah. it was a, it was a wonderful drive though. I mean, like we didn't have any traffic or anything. That's the nice we thing about Dunkin driving Donuts at that time of night. <laughs> we don't get Dunkin' Donuts very often. I mean, Burnsville is not that big, so we were, you know we were enjoying Lidl while we were there because it had fresh bread. <gasps> Um, so boy, we had fresh bread with just about every meal, but he didn't bring any home. Yes, he did. Uh, we have some to share. So uh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some to share. Not much, but, uh, some. so what we've done so far is I've taken those pieces that I cut and I placed them in various, um, places. And then I pulled out some scraps and I played with some scraps. And then last week we like literally put this together and made it so that it would look nice and pretty. And I'm trying to keep all my beautiful um, pieces here that I can see and um, all my lovely, I, that's what I really want. I want to see the crocheting. I want to see the tatting. I want to see all that. And, um, and then I also, if you were here a couple weeks ago or a week ago, I changed it so that my yellow would be on top. I had it originally put it on the bottom and I've, you know, I, this is the design process. You guys are seeing a design process. It's going to, either work out beautifully or it's going to be put into the scrap pile, but I don't think this one's going in a scrap pile at all. And the purse that I made um, for the first project, I don't know if Joyce is going to get that back. So, okay, here we go. Uh, the other <laughs> thing I haven't done yet is you'll notice that it's kind of, um, it, it kind of has, I have not taken or cut any of these sides yet. I'm not ready to do that. Um, I'm just working with this as it is. And I'm going to, Keep on going with what it is. Now, the reverse applique, I want to um, pull out Let me my, have that. oh, I'm going to hand that to her. She's going to get that just started. She's not doing anything instruction-wise. She's just getting it started. And this, I haven't done reverse applique in ages. In fact, I heard it. I heard the name reverse applique and went, oh, that's what I could do. Um, and so I may not even be doing it right. Okay, like I'm using a method that in my brain while I was sleeping one night said, this is what I want you to do. And my brain said, and I said, okay, I'll do that brain. And so in order to make sure it worked, I went ahead and did a sample just to make sure I knew what I was doing because I have a limited amount of this gorgeous green that I'm using on the project. And I didn't want to risk um, having noise dump. Yeah. And then gone, oh, I wish I would have done a, a preview. And so I took a scrap and went ahead and this is a scrap. I think it was a fat quarter from some project and it just ended up in my scrap pile. Anyway, it was nice and big. I took it out and it's a good color. Too. Yeah. Right. 
And so it gave me a really good idea of what I want to do. But now, this is what we're doing today. What I really want to figure out for next week and what I will be thinking and dreaming about for the next week is how I can get the, um, how I can either put this here or I think that's how I want it. I think I want it to go on the outside so that um, it will it will further decorate and bring in my piece. Oh, and I know so, exactly what you can and do. And so she, see, this is why I do this with people. Okay. Um, is because she's already thinking, Oh, we've got an idea. So that's fantastic. But what I am going to go ahead today and do is show you how I did the reverse applique. First thing I did was I took my piece and I took freezer paper. This is freezer paper. It's got a waxy side. Like I'm even going to show you freezer paper. Okay. Don't use parchment. That's not going to stick to your project. It doesn't you stick to anything. Paper. Doesn't stick to anything. That's the point of free. I mean, parchment paper has its uses. If you are doing, um, sticky, um, interfacings on your cutting board, um, I mean, not your cutting board, on your ironing, on your board. ironing board, you want to have some parchment paper down there because it doesn't stick to anything. You can get away with, you know, if you mess up or if you, whatever, if you have that between your iron and your, if you sandwich that stuff, you're good. So, yeah. If you, if you put the freezer paper on the bottom and freezer paper on the top, then you don't have to worry about it sticking to your iron. And right. So what I did <clears throat> was I took this and I'm able to, well, first thing I did, that's not right. Okay. First thing I did was I measured my project. Okay. Now remember that I am trying to get rid of the yellow right here. And so I'm trying to make sure that when I it take has some this, spots on them, right. When I take this frame that I'm getting rid of that yellow. Okay. That, that yellow is going to be gone. I don't have to worry about it again. And I have not treated this yet. I'm not cutting this today. I'm not doing, I will do that next week. That will be next week's project. Um, and so what I did was I measured, get back here. I measured my my sweet, I gotta do a little bit of repair there. Um, and once you put your treacle on the back, it's gonna, yeah, I don't know. I might do a little repair, I don't know. Anyway, I think they use like a variegated thread here, too. It's pretty cool. Um, so I measured this I think that is be, that is machine, yeah, it's a machine applique, um, uh, machine embroidery. embroidery. So I measured my little guy here, and it's measuring right at. Um, four inches. And so I added a half an inch. I actually added a little bit more. I think I added like, I think I went to the four and um, three quarters. Okay. And then when I got, and then I measured this way and this way is about two and a half. So I added an, another inch and that's two, uh, that would be three and a half. And so on my freezer paper, I took and did that measurement. So I did the five or four and three quarters and the three and um, half. three and a half. And then I folded it in half. Actually, I did the half and I sort of sketched out to get my oval. Okay. I wish that I could tell you I was, um, I used some sort of stencil or something like that. But honestly, I just eyeballed it. But then I cut it, I turned it in half and cut it out with my paper scissors and so that's how i got my oval but this is not what i want normally with applique i would stick this stick it down and you know do all my folding and all that stuff but i don't want that i want it to be reversed and so here's how i did it now the nice thing about the freezer paper is that i can then pull this off okay and now i have this gorgeous little frame, okay? And now that I know it worked, I can actually do it on my real fabric. Um, I know I want to have at least five inches to play with here. And so um, if I go to six and a half, I will be super happy because then I know I'll have plenty to play with. So uh, you can't see it because I have this wrong and I'm moving my camera. Sorry. <laughs> I get tomorrow off for a few hours. That's nice. Maybe Willard doesn't feel good. 
And so I'm hoping that he's okay. Well, if he does a COVID test and it's positive, we're not going to be even open tomorrow. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> because we've all been exposed. Well, I, there is no, guess what? There is no isolation anymore. Oh, okay. So so we all go to masks. We'll go to masks. I mean, I feel great. So <clears throat> if I don't think he has it. I think he's just, we're tired. Um, I think he just has allergies and stuff. We were very careful while we were there. Well, he did say that the trees were oh coming out down there. And right? That. I mean, like, it is a totally different season down in Virginia or Hampton, it's, Virginia. Well, it's North down Virginia, on the coast. Right? So. It, was, it was like in the 70s and 80s mm-hmm. regularly the whole time we were there. And so um, I, I'm not surprised if we were... You know, if it's the allergies. Because he gets allergies. Right. So. I mean, we're, our whole family is. I would like to have plenty of play with here, so I'm going to go with seven. Okay. So what I did, and the nice thing about freezer paper is that I can use this over and over again for several times. And so I can just pull that off, and then I can put it... <clears throat> Same right piece and here. it's ready to go. Yep. And I'm actually going to fold this in half. All I'm doing is folding it in half. And then I'm going to fold it in half again. And that sort of gives me a little crease right there. And I'm still doing it to the wrong side of the pattern. And so that sort of gives me a way of sort of centering this. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to um, lay it all out later, later and, and do it. Go on there. Don't make me a liar. There you go. There you go. I think you can use it up to four times. Yeah. I mean, you just keep ironing it down if you have problems. You got a pin. Everything's magnetic. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, we're quilters. Okay. So now I'm just going to rough cut this out so that I have a, a quarter of an inch all the way around. Um, I realized I didn't have all my normal utensils in here because um, all of them went in the car. Oops, that was a little bit short. No problem. It'll it'll be okay. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's all fine. Everything's fine. All right. Here we go. So just like this. Okay. And then what I did next is because we're doing an inside curve. Just want to make this make this up smoother. Since we're doing an inside curve, I'm gonna go ahead and trim or not trim clip um close to the interfacing i mean this this curve this particular curve is super easy to do i mean this is a nice smooth big curve if you're going to do applique this is what you want to do right here um because nice big um Nice big curves are are super easy to blend in. Okay, and then um, while I'm snipping this, I'll tell you that I decided today. You know, I'm I've been playing with starches and different types of. Um, can the magic? Okay, what I've really been playing with is can this magic quilting crafting spray that I have sort of used now as starch for just about everything. Can it do exactly what I want to do for the reverse applique that I usually use starch for for regular applique? And watch. I am so impressed with this stuff. Um, it doesn't have the scent. Like I know I told you in the past that I've been like, we don't want, I don't want to use the regular starch because um, of the scent. Lanny is sort of sensitive to the old lady smell. And so, <laughs> right? I mean, like... I, um, I don't use anything, so I can't say anything. Right. You don't have that old lady smell, but I'm just an old lady. He calls it the old lady. The, you know, anyway. anyway. Well, a, a lot so, of. Um, oh, God. Right. Okay. So, Will is COVID positive, so we will start masking today, but we are still open. Um, and he's going to go home. So, um, he is fine. He's he was having a little bit of a headache and a stuffy nose. So, um, that means I get to wear a mask to speak up. Well, I mean, like, 
How much were you around him? Oh, I rode in the car with him. But... Oh, right. And yeah. he was, yeah, it, it's fine. Okay. We're all vaccinated. <sighs> right? So, we're you know. All vaccinated and. So, all right. I don't that means he gets the week off. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's not good. Okay. No, we're, we're going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Okay, cool. So I have drip, um, drenched this down in my magic spray. Okay, oops. So um, what I have done here is I've simply taken a um, coffee straw and a pipe cleaner, okay? And my pipe cleaner, this is the same type of pipe cleaner and coffee straw that we use as a... Um, to clean the machine. To clean the machines out, okay? And so we are... Okay, so um, I and and so I've drenched that thing. I've soaked it. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is use my. Um, I have a nice little wooden stick downstairs, but I'm just gonna use my um, my seam my seam ripper right now, and I'm gonna lift up my. I say I'm gonna. There we go. I'm gonna lift this up and fold this over. I don't even need this the seam ripper. I can just do it with my fingers. I might like this reverse applique for a while, guys. Um, when I start liking something that's super easy, I just start using it and everything. Okay, and so now that I have brought that over, and you can see how nice that curve is, I'm going to bring my iron in and start bringing that in just like that and going all the way around. And once I got started, worked really well. And I am just using the iron to like push that over. I'm not even, you guys, I love this. When it's easy, or what is it? I love it when a plan comes together, A team. Dun, 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 dun. I need Will. Will was singing for me last uh, week. To, I right? can't remember how it goes, sorry. Right? Uh, I, I miss the A team. I, I tried to watch it though, and it's so 80s. It is. It's, but it's still good. It is. It's still good. You know, if you want to watch things blow up like I do, like Burn Notice is one of my favorite shows because, you know, it's constantly blowing stuff up. I mean, I don't want that to happen in real life. I just like watching it on TV. <laughs> All right. There she is. So I'm going to give her a nice little. And once, see how it's like curling up and stuff? That's just the freezer paper. Once I take that freezer paper off, but I don't want to do that until it cools. And so I'm going to turn you over to mom and she, I'm going to drink some coffee and she's going to show you some hand stitching, uh, hand embroidery to um, embellish what we were talking about last week. Okay. Can, is, is this visible right here, Lenny? Okay. Um, go ahead. Um, what she's doing is she's copying these little things down here and moving them down here. So there's a little, one of one of these is right here. And these are, these are the stems of the little flowers and that kind of thing. So what I've done, I put it on a different piece of fabric because I want to practice with it first. And I'm only working, I've, I've worked on, um, right now I've got the um, French knots going right here, which is going to be these. And they're the ones I've had the hardest problem with getting back into. And I don't think I've ever really, really been good at that. And I called Rebecca to ask her about it. And she said, <laughs> she said, just keep practicing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is Rebecca's her daughter. Right. My daughter is a <laughs> hand embroidery queen, man. She gave her like five minutes worth of lessons. And then Rebecca was on her own. And she, it all she went all. on, she went online and, and just, so I wrapped this around more times than it says to, and just go back through and make sure that you've got this piece. Okay, where is it? You've got to make sure that the bottom one, the one that's wrapped around, so I'm also goes being, all the way down. I'm being a little cruel because she uses a hoop normally. And I, I like handed a, her a small I like piece. A, I like a small hoop, but it's not <laughs> I handed not her a small piece small. of fabric and said, here, you can practice so, on that. So there's, there's your little French knots, and they're going to be these little goodies. And then um, 
the Lazy Daisy, which I absolutely love. And I do it different. I was looking online and or on YouTube and they do it differently than I do because I cheat. Um, so what I do, I mean, they, they go down and up and down and up. So what I do is I, now this one for the other, the next petal of the flower, I'll come back over here. And this is this little thing. So I make sure. So instead of going down and then coming back up, you just went I go immediately across. to the next I I go across. Spot. I go from here to there and make sure that this is wrapped around. Oh, you lost your thread. I came unthreaded. Okay. Need glasses? No. Oh. Okay. I got. <laughs> See, I don't wear I, them all the time. I, I, <laughs> my glasses never come off. I can't see without them. So, um, and I'm the old school. I lick my thread. But I like, all do. that's another thing. Allison likes, she handed me these needles and I said, no, they're too long. I like these needles. I like long needles. I, I And these, these, hand. these are the, the, the John James embroidery, whereas these are the, the, um, sharps and they just. They're too long for me. I like long needles. And uh, I like also the, I like the, to be able to the big eye. Now, as I get more into the hand embroidery, maybe I'll, I'll like the smaller ones. But right now, I like them. See, I can still thread a needle. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, make okay. sure they can see it. Lanny, can they see it? Okay, so you can, when I do it, I just bring it down next to the thread that came up from the previous one. Bring it across. Making sure that the thread, the thread is around it. Is and then you catch it. it. And there's your... And there's your... Uh, and that's and the lazy daisy. And you bring it, then you bring your thread down. This is not the best flower in the world, but it works. No, you're practicing. That's your practice. And, but what we're doing on Thursday, we're gonna have a little hand embroidery class. And we've got the cutest panel here, which I've been playing with too. I think this needs to go to the whole, the big thing. So and this is the um, Bare Roots um, panel. It is Daydreamer. And, and it's, it's all, it gives us an opportunity to do all sorts of stitches. And they've even like got instructions on the panel on how to do those stitches you bring that over here yeah okay these are this is what it shows and some of them it's 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 kind of funny but it's it'll be easier if if you're working with it but this is what i've done so far and allison said well don't finish it because you're going to have to demonstrate it so but this is a running stitch which i'm so jealous i have able to sit and do that i have i have discovered i love this stitch I really like that stitch. I like it better than the back stitch. And then here's the lazy daisies. And then this is going to be more more of the running stitch and more lazy daisies. And you can do as much or as little as you want to on it. And then the way this is set up, you can either cut it up and use it for appliques or something like that. That you can't just, it's not everything goes every which way. So it's not like you can just use the panel. But I also worked on. Oh, and you did. Um, oh, I. She's using some Trico interface. It's, it's suggested to help. Right. It's suggested that you stability. you interface it. So I used the Trico because I thought that it's Crunch well, it's it yeah, it's it softer. Soft quality. And yeah. Yet you still get that. And there's my. And so what we're gonna do? I know that this is hard to see these stitches. And so what we're gonna do? One, Rebecca has a wonderful series on our our website. And so if you go to our website, you can see all these stitches. Rebecca did a beautiful job of laying out every single one of these stitches. And so what I'm gonna do as I do the project, because she's gonna teach me how to do this. I'm gonna. <laughs> Give me me. As I do it, I will I will post pictures and I'm, I'm thinking about starting a blog, but it's not going to be a written blog. Um, it's going to be a video blog or not a video blog. It's going to be more of a picture blog. And so 
I'll show you how it's going. Does it, okay, now, does it need it? You no. can get away with not doing anything at all, guys. She's just um, having fun. This is just a way for me to learn new skills and to practice new skills and, and enjoy doing something different. Um, I've been a quilter for a very long time and an apparel sewer for a very long time. I'm getting to the point now where I want to try some different things. I started her when she was 13. Right. And I think I was even like before that. Well, yeah, that's when we made her first outfit. Yep. Yep. So that is, and remember, I don't sure if I showed you, this is sort of what I'm going with. I have, um, a tutorial, I believe, or a pattern on my website that talks about, um, notebook covers. And so I have three different sizes in there, um, a smaller, I tried to go with, this is a com composition notebook here. I tried to go with notebooks that you could easily get. And so I have uh, three different patterns on my website for that. Um, and so that's what I'm sort of basing all of this on. And so this right here is this part, you know, right here. And so, um, and then this is, this is where my frame is going. And so you can see how already I'm sitting here going, oh, my frame is pretty big, but I think in the end, everything is going to come together just fine. And if I have to move things over, that is the glorious, wonderful thing about design. We can change, we can modify, we can figure that out as we go. And so that's where we're at. All right, cool. Um, you, uh, oh, I, do, you I, do the, have, I do have I, little cheaters here. I saw these on one of the other um, lines I was watching. Fingers hot? They sweat a little bit, but there's lots of ventilation too. Lots of holes. But um, these are nice because they're they're more like grippers. You don't. It's like it's kind of almost like having a, a thimble, but not really. Um, Protecting your fingers yeah. while being able to grip that needle a little bit. And better. yeah, and that's why I don't like the size of the hoop. I like the little. So hoop. here, um, this is the running stitch, and she's using that running stitch here on the flower's stem. I was going to ask you to demonstrate that anyway. Yeah. And you so, have what you have to make sure though with this stitch or with the back stitch is always come out on the same side. Oopsie. Let me get I <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> you came from thread. Well, that was what was part of the green that's there. <laughs> hanging out. And I also cheated because I started out by Threading right. several she needles. She was making sure we were ready to go and could do this in a reasonable time period. And, but if, if this she this would. one, if you if you pull it over to this side instead of that side, you're going to get a wonky line. Okay. And so you've got to keep. If you decide to be on this side of it, then you keep it on that side. If you decide to be on this side of it, you just keep it on that side. And this one, you basically go back to. Do you see that, okay, Lenny? You stay on the same line and go back to the... It's almost like a lazy daisy stitch because you're making sure that thread is in the right position. Yeah, well, the thread comes up. And I'm lucky because I have fingernails. Um, but you're, you're just kind of staying on, on the line. With the, the, the running stitch, you don't go all the way back. Oh, right, right. I understand what you're saying now. So it just depends on. And then the trick is keeping a consistency in the distance of your. Uh, yeah, the length of your stitches. stitches. And that is where I struggle. Although the more I've been doing it, um, my little snowman that I was working on, um, you couldn't tell that I hadn't been doing that. It, it's. And I was doing a running stitch for that one where I was going. Not quite far, quite all the way back. What was I doing, a back stitch? I, I can't remember. The back stitch is, this is I'm the back stitch. The, I'm learning the ter the terminology of everything. And so. Um, but I've, I'm, I've decided I'm in love with this stitch because it, it just looks so pretty. So on March 7th, it's... if you're local, we'll be having a, um, a, a sip and stitch. And so we will be doing this. Teaching. Yeah, we won't we won't be starting till ten because I have a doctor's appointment. In yeah, right, right. It's from ten to twelve. It's from ten to twelve, 
and um, we'll be doing a variety of stitches and we're just gonna do this once a month. And if you just wanna learn how to hand bind or you wanna learn how to do a different type of hand stitch, you know, that type of thing, then this is the class for you. It's very laid back, very bring your own thing. If you want this kit, we have that available with all the embroidery threads, needles, hoop, and the panel. And um, and so we already have like five people interested. It's really cool. And it's just gonna be like one of those things where we sit around and gab and sew like the olden days. <gasps> and it's here, yeah. yeah, so it's here. And then if you are online, if you're joining us online, check out Rebecca's tutorials. Rebecca has an amazing um, series of eight videos. They are 10 to 15 minutes each of teaching every stitch that she could think of. And, you know, different ways to do that. And the kit's available online as well, or at least it will be now that Will's um, no. not home. <laughs> we'll figure that out. He, that means I have to work a little extra harder today. No problem. <laughs> but um, anyway, so I'm feeling great. Lanny's feeling great. We're good. So and this is his great is a loose term. We're tired. We're just this, tired. This, this is his first time having COVID. Oh, so he'll be fine. He's yeah. all backed up. He's fine. Um, in fact, he was unloading all the stuff and he was just like, I'm just hot. So, um, I mean, I'm not, I'm kind of not surprised just because there were so many people there, even though we were really careful, but yeah, um, it's just how it is. And between um, being tired and a little bit more susceptible because of that. Right. Yeah. We've been trying, we tried to eat well, but you know, we did go to Longhorn and enjoy a steak one night. Boy, was that good. <laughs> So anyway, I'm so glad he made it through the weekend. Anyway, maybe I'll get through the week. That would be good. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. If you enjoyed this video, please join us on Thursday. Thursday is our continuing series on the Wander Lane by Nancy Halverson. I'm not quite sure what I'm making yet, but it's going to be super awesome for March. Um, I, like and subscribe. I think I have an idea, but I, I'm not ready to divulge it yet. And then, uh, yeah, like, subscribe comment, all those wonderful things. If you have some ideas for things that we could further do with um, the the notebook cover, we'd love to hear the from you. Too. And the hankies, because like this, I think I know where I'm going with the next project, but I am almost done with this project. I think that two weeks. Next week, we'll finish the, um, I'll have the hand embroidery done. I'll have the, um, we'll finish the um, reverse, applique. reverse applique and getting the, um, the is this tatting as well that's tatting so this is tatting as well and so we'll get the tatting on there um on the frame oh my god it's gonna look so good and then um the pocket we'll get the pocket done next week so we'll only have just a little bit more to go for the notebook and um Lainey's gonna make sure there's a link somewhere that takes you to our notebook um cover on our website so that you can download that and he's looking at me like i'm gonna do what <laughs> it's okay we're gonna get some really good sleep tonight it's gonna be great i mean like this the hotel is pretty good too anyway like subscribe and thanks for following us and we will see you guys on thursday bye everyone